consider the story of Jehoshaphat, the righteous king of Judah, facing a formidable alliance of enemy nations. In 2 Chronicles 20, when Jehoshaphat learned of the impending threat, he turned to seek God's guidance. Faced with a multitude of adversaries, the king gathered the people for prayer and fasting. In response to their earnest cry for help, the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jehaziel, who delivered a powerful message in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 15. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army, for the battle is not yours but God's. Emboldened by this divine assurance, Jehoshaphat appointed singers to lead the army, acknowledging that victory would come through trust in the Lord. As they began to sing and praise, God set an ambush against the enemy forces, causing them to turn against one another. Jehoshaphat and his people witnessed a miraculous deliverance without having to fight in the physical realm. The story of Jehoshaphat exemplifies the spiritual principle of trusting in God's power and seeking his guidance in the face of overwhelming odds. In our spiritual warfare for breakthroughs, Psalm 112 serves as an anthem echoing the resolute faith demonstrated by Jehoshaphat and his people. So let's pray, trusting in God for a breakthrough in your spiritual warfare. Precious child of God, I declare Psalm 112 over your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delight in His commands. Wealth and riches are in their houses, and their righteousness endures forever. May this be your blessed inheritance through devoted obedience and reverence all before the majesty on high. Even when darkness lingers too long, still I declare Psalm 112 promising light dawns for the upright, gracious, compassionate, and righteous. Take heart, beloved. Joy comes in the morning. I release grace to nurture seeds of hope until the night passes, and you behold the faithfulness of God. I call forth revelation of kingdom principles and divine wisdom over confusing situations. Receive courage and stamina for the waiting. Ask for earthly burdens to be shouldered by the Almighty God carrying you through this wilderness, leaning hard into his promises through the struggle. Worship in the midnight hour pierces confused despair. Declaration of trust in his declared care kindles impatient places within while enduring the journey longer than expected. Hold on, deliverance is assured and breakthrough set to launch at the appointed prophetic hour. I declare over overwhelming challenges trying to deflate the hope in you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and you shall refute every tongue that arises against you in judgment. As accusers surrounded and spewed venom at righteous Job, yet he refused to curse God's name. I release a similar steadfast faith rooted in revelation of this loving character. Deflect soul piercing lies with a shield of faith and belt of truth, declaring my righteous Redeemer lives. As Moses stood along the Red Sea's edge with Egypt, fearsome chariots and closing quickly, I called for Holy Spirit's interventions, making way through impossibilities, hemming in all sides. Hemming it on all sides. Receive courage and elevated perspective to stand your ground in faith. Fix eyes on the unseen eternal weight of glory prepared for overcomers who believe God remains unlimited in power and supreme over human. Suddenly, Red Sea barriers give way to the highway of praise procession on the other side. I release angelic assistance and heavenly breakthrough into financial lack and poverty, trying to blockade purpose and passion. As young David stood armed with faith, intimidating giant Goliath and his blasphemous taunts, I declare giants of lack, depth, and shortage, high cost that mock God's Faithful promises will topple in Jesus' name. Through radical kingdom stewardship and generosity, sowing that shifts spiritual climates over temporal provisions. As Ezekiel prophesied to dead dry bones, I declare resurrection, life breath into broken dreams, failed expectations, disappointed hopes, seeming eternally lost, whether through relational betrayal or soulish locations where identity was misplaced. Receive God's declaration. I make all things new. Allow nothing wasted under sovereign ordination. Let joy and assurance anchor your soul to finish your unique race and ministry strong. 
I release angel messengers with breakthrough assignments into stagnated career places, stock family cycles, and prodigal relationships requiring miraculous turnaround. As Peter escaped locked prison chains through spirit-empowered prayer support and angelic jailbreak, I declare supernatural reversal to human impossibilities ordered to align into accelerated kingdom calm trajectories. I declare Psalm 112 promises over demonic resistance and witchcraft opposition trying to hinder and halt advancement into new dimensions of influence through jealousy, accusation or fear of man. Receive courage as Caleb to stand against misleading negative reports that shrink back from possessing promises. Boldly give thanks in advance for a victorious outcome through persistent faith in God's faithfulness that over comes contrary obstacles take confident position of land prepared for you enlarge tents and visions to fill new spaces of opportunity open for such a pivotal time as esther received royal favor to oppose a man's sinister plot i declare god turning injustice against you into a platform positioning you to possess enlarged influence for such an opportune time i call for divine alignments with governing authorities and nobility in high places to utilize your voice to shape culture advocate kingdom policy and be a catalyst for regional transformation may god arise through you to disciple nations during explosive harvest fields open before you, full of promise yielding 30, 60, 100 fold fruit. Beloved child, I bless you in the name of Jesus to finish your course with joy set on eternal prize. I release persevering grace to stand through battering winds of adversity or distracting tempests trying to contest calling. Anchor to promises unchanged by swearing storms around you. My everlasting riches of glory, but chase at such a great cost. Allow perspective discovered in his presence to infuse new vision, realign steps, and empower from on eye to say yes to the cost of radical obedience. Inherit all Jesus' victory, secured as first fruits guarantee for included hidden securely in him. Beloved child of destiny, I call forth clarity and wisdom over confusing fog and uncertainty that descends like smoke to distract your steps from advancing. Receive courage as Joshua commanded the sun to stand still until full light dawns direct confirmed. Set your mind on things above, not on circumstances below. Take heart, the greater one indwells your weakness with angel armies unseen. You shall testify of his faithfulness rushing in on time. I speak Isaiah 45 verse 3 over on seen doors requiring unlocking like Cyrus advanced to open passages preparation on the way I will give you hidden treasures riches stored in secret places so that you may know I am the Lord the God of Israel who summons you by name I call forth favor and supernatural openings into spheres of authority and influence once restricted skylights appear leading into the throne rooms of kings set captives free with kingdom keys and trusted I release anointed strategy against mockers and accuse a threatening hesitation to step out in renewed faith after four my betrayals and failures as Mordecai warned Esther delay may forfeit divine purpose for our life so too beloved child silence not your voice anymore reconciliation is provided in the beloved though unseen warfare aimed against your soul take courage you have all you need to walk in original design partner with redeeming almighty in mending broken walls and foundation restore heal unlock destinies hijacked by the great deceiver who prowls like devouring lions. Rise above counterplots and advance as royal priests, paving highway access back to the garden, first law of dwelling place secured. Surrounded by Myra Du returned, the prodigal's tender sang, welcome home. I prophesy open doors into places of influence as Isaiah 22, 22 promises. I will place on his shoulder the key to the house of David. What he opens, no one can shut, and what he shuts, no one can open. Keys come through persistent intercession and radical faith in the darkest valley. You have what it takes through union with anointed one, rejected cornerstone containing a heart, cry for captives and outcast open passages back into the family of God. Knock loudly, asking for the nations as inheritance reward. Speak to obstacles and refute doubt-filled words, magnifying lack in shadow of great giants. Declare jubilee over locked-up heirs of salvation. 
unfinished the work, justice, righteousness, peace, joy, soldier ahead in confident rest. Breakthrough is nigh. I release a vision for finishing your unique race with your endurance fixed on eternal rewards. Receive renewed passion. Hearing again the Macedonian cry, come help us. May this be the hour you leave, resign safety and step out to discover belonging to sold out, abandoned, trusting the true shepherd's care. He shall lead beside still waters and in green pastures for the workman, giving all diligence, equipping sheep to bear kingdom fruit, allow intimacy unlocked in the sacred place to form motivated love, stirring courage, again to lay down selfish gain. I seal this psalm, one one two breakthrough declaration over your life by Jesus' blood and mighty name. I pray according to the words of Psalm 103 verses 1 to 5. Praise the Lord, O my soul. O my innermost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. I praise you, my Lord and my King, regardless of the challenges I may be facing. You have washed away my sins, healed my diseases, and also redeemed me and crowned me with your love. Please keep satisfying my desires with good things and let my youth be renewed like that of the eagles. I pray according to the word of Psalm 30 verses 4 to 5. Sing the praises of the Lord, you his faithful people. Praise his holy name, for his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. Lord, I desire your favor that lasts for a lifetime to come upon me. Let my weeping end with the night. And at every waking moment of my life, let my joy never run dry, but run to overflow. I pray according to the word of Psalm 106 verse 1. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. I give thanks because I know that you are a good God and because your mercies endure forever. Please let me not be put to shame. Even as I fix my gaze on you, I declare the words of Psalm 139 verse 14. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that fully well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. I pray according to the word of Psalm 100 verse 4 to 5. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. I praise you, Father, because you are a good God. I decree for all my loved ones that your love and faithfulness will endure forever. And let this extend even to my generations yet unborn. Just as you have kept your covenant with Solomon because of his father David, please honor your promises over my unborn children because of me. I pray according to the word of Psalm 37 verse 4, take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. I have made you my delight, O God. I ask that you will give me that which my heart desires today. I pray according to the words of Psalms 91 verses 1 to 2, 15 to 16, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He will call on me, I will answer. I will be with Him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation, says the Lord. I ask that you keep me under your shadow where no harm can reach me. Please keep being my refuge and my fortress. Let the enemy try his best, but let him fail at every attempt. 
Lord, when I lift up my voice to cry to you, please hear me and deliver me and satisfy me with a long life and let my future days to come be secured in you forever. I pray according to the word of Psalm 27 verse 1, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Lord, you are my light and my salvation. Even in my season of darkness, I refuse to be shaken because I have you as my stronghold and I will not be afraid of anyone because you have my back always and I can rely on you. I declare the words of Psalm 23 verse 4, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me, therefore I don't have to worry because I am at peace. I pray according to the word of Psalm 46 verses 10 and 11. See striving and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. My Lord and my King, I will place my trust and my confidence in you because you are the Lord of hosts and you are with me. Please be my stronghold. I pray according to the words of Psalm 55 verse 22, cast all your burden upon the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. All of my burdens, I lay them down at your feet. You have said that you will not allow the righteous to be shaken. Therefore, I will not be shaken. Please sustain me by your righteous hand and let peace overflow my aching heart. I pray according to the word of Psalm 107 verses 19 to 21. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Lord, I am crying out to you today. Please save me from all my distress. Send your word of healing to me and rescue me from the grave. I declare the words of Psalm 40 verses 1 to 2. I wait patiently for you, Lord. Please turn to me and hear my cry. Lift me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. Please set my feet on a rock and give me a firm place to stand. Now I shall rejoice because you have heard my cry. And I am completely transformed such that people who see me now see your glory over my life. I declare the words of Psalm 116 verses 1 and 2. I love the Lord for you heard my voice. You heard my cry for mercy. Because you turned your ear to me, I will call on you as long as I live. All these I have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for you now calling upon the name of our Lord Jesus as I break every scheme of the enemy aimed at harming you. I declare that no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. And I decree that every lying tongue that rises up against you shall be condemned in Jesus' name. All evil arrows sent your way, I send back to the ascenders in the mighty name of Jesus. Just as David prayed in Psalm 7, asking God to rise up in anger against his enemies and awake for him. May the violence of the wicked bring them down by their own evil intent. I call forth divine judgment on those who secretly shoot arrows of perversity, deceit, and accusations your way. I decree that their traps which they have laid will catch up with them instead in Jesus' name. I declare over your life the promises of Psalm 37 that evildoers shall be cut off, but those who hope in the Lord shall inherit the land. I command every enemy that comes against you to stumble and fall, expire and be no more. Just as David prayed boldly in Psalm 57, asking the Almighty to break the teeth of liars and silence the tongue that speaks proud against you, I call forth the armies of heaven to guard you and protect you to lift you up and shield you completely under their wings. I decree that no snare will capture you, no sudden alarm will shake you, says the Lord in Proverbs 3 verses 25 to 26. For he who keeps you will not slumber, he who protects you will not sleep. I command every evil net and every negative word cause sent to entangle your destiny to be consumed by the fire of the Holy Spirit now in Jesus' name.
just as the snares of the wicked could not prevail against blameless David, whose shield was the Lord God Most High, I declare that no eating trap or malicious scheme will prosper against you in Jesus' name. For who can harm you when you follow what is good and do the Lord's will? And everyone who exalts themselves against you will be brought low by the power in the name of Jesus. For the salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord who protects them like a shield in time of trouble. I pray that the Lord shall protect you from every evil arrows in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that God will make your righteousness shine like the dawn and your justice like the noonday. Although the wicked secretly shoot their arrows against the blameless to slay them in the darkness, their bows will all be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I command every lying and devouring tongue targeting you to dry up from the root and wither away. Just as Goliath's threats could not prevail against young David, who came in the name of the Lord God Almighty, I silence and cut off every voice that taunts and intimidates you by demonic threats or false accusations. I decree open disgrace and divine judgment upon all who magnify themselves against you and seek your ruin. I command every proud wave striking against you, Every contrary wind and stormy blast opposing your destiny to be rebuked and laid to rest by the great I am. Just as Jesus said, peace be still. Causing the winds and waves to obey his voice, I declare that all clamoring voices in the realm of the spirit resisting and raging against you shall bow in submission to the commands of the Most High God. For greater is he that is in you than anything in the world trying to destroy you. I speak over that to ends fort. Psalm 118 works for you as you remain surrounded and fortified on all sides, that you may boldly declare, The Lord is for me, I will not fear. What can man do to me? I command all intimidating spirits, trying to elicit fear and anxiety to tremble and flee away from you now in Jesus' mighty name. As David overcame the lion, the bear, and the giant through his great faith in the God who delivers, I release boldness into your spirit and command every inner voice of fear, doubt, or intimidation assaulting your mind to be silent. As David encouraged himself in the wilderness, stirred himself up in God and recovered all that was taken, I call forth a tenacious spirit of faith to rise within you, one that pursues, overtakes and recovers all. I declare the steadfast love of the Lord upon you, his mercy and favor to preserve you. Though an army encamp around you, your heart will not fear. Though war rises against you, you will be confident in God, for even stone walls will collapse and weapons formed against you shall fail. No schemes out in darkness shall succeed and every lying tongue condemning you will be shown to be in the wrong again may the words and the spirit behind psalm 118 fortify and protect you on all sides let those who come against you be put to shame but may you never be put to shame let those plotting your downfall turn back in disgrace and emulation but may you be uplifted and established upon the rock christ jesus I declare you are delivered forevermore from the snare of the fowler and deadly pestilence in accordance to Psalm 91. No plague of darkness or calamity of night shall overtake your dwelling. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder, trample the young lion and serpent under your feet. As David prayed in distress and anguish for God not to be far away, I call for divine assistance and heavenly armies to surround and shield you now in Jesus' name. I decree sudden angelic support and divine intervention into your affairs. May God command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. As Elisha prayed for his seven eyes to be opened, releasing God's greater spiritual forces to reveal themselves. I call for lightning flashes of divine insight and spiritual vision to illuminate your path ahead, that you may walk wisely and avoid the snares of darkness seeking to entrap you in Jesus' name. I declare that those who rise against you will fall for your sake, says the Lord in Isaiah 54 verse 15. For who dares accuse you whom the Lord has chosen? I command all tongues speaking negative words for 
false testimonies or malicious lies against you to dry up immediately and receive a burning coal of conviction to speak no more deceit. As Mordecai fought the wicked schemes of her man aimed at destroying the innocent, I declare that just as a man was hung on the very gallows built for Mordecai, your enemies and accusers will receive the due rewards for their wickedness, while you shall be uplifted and established on higher ground. For the one who digs a pit will himself fall into, and like Goliath, the one who comes to accuse and terrify you will himself be struck down by the very schemes and weapons aimed at you. As Jezebel's vile threats against Elijah were overturned and in his stead she was seized and trampled underfoot by divine judgment, I decree the same immediate intervention and vindication for you against every corrupt source seeking your downfall. Like a man, may all who pursue bloodshed against your innocent life be precisely targeted by divine justice and recompense. For the Lord loves justice and will not abandon his faithful ones. I release a prophetic decree over your life from the heavenly court and seal it permanently by the blood of Jesus Christ and the mighty work of the cross. What God has spoken and proposed for your good cannot be reversed or overturned in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 118 stands as a divine shield and canopy of favor for all your coming and going out, surrounding you on all sides with grace and deliverance from all calamity and snares of darkness. May those who pursue and persecute you be ashamed and disgraced, but may you stand radiant with God's joy and vindication. Let deceivers and accusers bear their own shame while God's righteousness illuminates your life without apology. The Lord himself has become your salvation and sure defense. No one who condemns or contends with you shall prevail. For God is with you to deliver you, says the Lord. I seal this prayer over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let all God's angels heed this divine commission and surround you as a wall of fire and shield of faith on all sides. Greater is he who is in you than anything in all creation that strives against you. May the Lord bless and protect you always. He will send back every evil arrows aimed to kill you or your loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you are not just a good father, but also a great shepherd. And as a great shepherd leads his sheep to peaceful pastures and quiet waters, so will you do to my spirit every time I want to lay down. In you I know that I will find rest, and my spirit will be renewed even as I close my eyes to sleep. Nothing shall take away my sleep and peace of mind. I am safe and secure in your arms. According to the word of Psalm 121 verses 3 to 4, he will not let your foot sleep. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Lord, in the darkest hours of the night, when I am most vulnerable and weak, I am assured that you are always watching over me, staying vigilant so that no harm will come to me. I thank you because you neither slumber nor sleep just to keep me safe. Your word shall never break, neither will you alter that that which has proceeded from your mouth consigning me. According to the word of Psalm 91 verses 1 to 2, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his feathers you will find a refuge. His faithfulness shall be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress. Like a protective parent, like a mother hen protecting her chicks, you cover me under your feathers, shielding us from all attacks of the enemy and the terrors of the night. I don't have to be afraid because I am perpetually dwelling in your shadow. According to the word of Psalm 3 verses 5 to 6, I lie down and sleep and I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear though ten thousands assail me on every side. I certainly will not be afraid of tens of thousands of people who gang up against me when I am asleep at night because you, my father, sustain me with your mighty hands. 
according to the word of Psalm 16 verses 7 to 8. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. I will keep my eyes on you always because with you at my right hand, I will not be shaken even when I am asleep. Your counsel will remain with me. According to the word of Psalm 139 verses 11 and 12, if I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. Lord, this psalm fills me with the hope and assurance that there's nothing that happens in the dark that you don't know about. So even when the enemy tries to hide in the dark to harm me at night, you see it and you will rescue me. According to the word of Psalm 127 verse 2, In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat as a grand sleep to those who he loves. Lord, toiling and hard work can sometimes hinder me from sleeping, but you have made it clear that those you love, you will certainly grant sleep because I know you love me. Psalm 46 verse 10, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted amongst the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. You have told me to be still and know that you are God. I release my burdens and anxieties to you. Please be exalted above all these and lead me to a peaceful sleep. Psalm 121 verses 5 to 8. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. Lord, you have promised to be my shade at my right hand. And I know that both during the day and at night, you are always watching over me. I don't have to be afraid of whatever has been programmed to the moon and to the sun to harm me. Psalm 91 verses 14 to 16. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Lord, I call on you. Please deliver and satisfy my weary soul. Please protect me even as I lay down to sleep. And every time I call upon you, whether during the day or late at night, Lord, please answer me. According to the word of Psalm 62 verses 1 to 2, 5 to 8, truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. Yes, my soul finds rest in God. My hope comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my my refuge. Trust in him at all times. You people, pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. Lord, with you by my side, I know I will find rest for my soul as I close my eyes. Help me to trust in you that you will see me through the night and I will wake up refreshed and restored. All these I have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. No weapon prevails as you abide in the secret place of God's presence and love. I declare the Lord is your light, salvation, and stronghold according to Psalm 27 verse 1. Jesus already purchased victory for you through Calvary's finished works. His death unleashes resurrection life and power within. Fear no darkness because greater is he in you than he that controls the world. Abide in Christ and wield heaven's weapons, mighty to pull down enemy strongholds. You are victorious through intimacy and surrender. I decree angelic shields and barriers secure around you night and day according to Psalm 34 verse 7 and chapter 91 verses 11 to 12. May these war angels prevent all satanic attacks interferences and retaliation according to verse 14 to 16 of Psalm 91. You shall thread upon the lion and adder 
All secret plans of the enemy are destroyed. The Holy Spirit leads you far from the schemes of evil, so no harm can befall you. Strong tower protects God's beloved. I command all satanic spirits guarded for assignments of chaos, destruction, accusation, affliction, deception, and death to be bound now, silenced, and rendered impotent under Christ's authority. According to Revelation 12, verses 10 to 11, the Lord will strip dark spirits of weapons, armor, devices, and scrolls prepared against his people. He will escort them to show locked in chains now in the mighty name of Jesus. I call forth divine alertness, discernment, and perception to recognize diabolical setups and weaponized words intended to ensnare your identity and calling according to Psalms 62 verses 2 to 4 and 8. Ask God for insight into people like castrating attacks through cursing, jealousy, and hidden retaliation. Receive wisdom and strategy to terminate schemes at inception so they boomerang against the kingdom of darkness, increasing the influence of God through your life. Beloved saint, you are already clothed in Christ's righteousness as eternal security according to Isaiah 61 verse 10. No false accusation or character assassination prevails when you walk blameless and upright, fearing God. Take heart if maligned for his name's sake. All snakes and scorpions turn impotent against true disciples of Jesus according to Luke 10 verse 19. His suffixes are engrafted in you. Righteousness and justice flow through your veins. You represent him now and forever. I decree supernatural reversal manifest against every satanic ambush and conspiracy set to hinder God's anointed according to Isaiah 54 verses 15 and 17. I pray that all sorcery backfires, converting curses into blessing according to Genesis 12 verse 3 and Numbers 23 verse 23. Receive heavenly strategies, releasing recompense, vindication, restoration, and sevenfold justice against all adversary attacks. Divine turnaround belongs to you, beloved. Stand confident and assured victory comes. Through intimacy and surrender, we access resurrection power that renders enemies defenseless. Drink deep of the infallible spirit of counsel and might. Rise up in ferocious faith, tearing down strongholds and high things, exalting themselves against the true knowledge of God. You shall do valiantly through Christ who strengthens you. I call forth warrior angels to ensure full execution of these prayer decrees now according to Psalm 103 verse 20. And I compel adversary spirits bound for sure to obey in Jesus' name. I pray that Abba Father will surround you with angel armies enforcing protection as decreed under divine counsel in heaven. May all counterattacks, assignments, and weapons dissolve immediately against those hidden in Christ. The Lord will defend and shield you according to the word in Jesus' name. Your authority in prayer avails much through humility and surrender to Christ within you, according to James 5 verse 16. Never underestimate the power in binding and losing all weapons of declaration wielded in partnership with the spirit of might. He responds with reinforcement as we cry out to him who is mighty to save. Be strong and courageous. Only stand still and see his victory. I decree a mighty wall of angelic protection fortified around you now so no satanic assault penetrates according to Zechariah 2 verse 5. I pray Yahweh encamps legends as fiery wall and shield against enemy attack or retaliation. He will give his angels charge over all that pertains to you. Trust him to guard your life, family, reputation, health, finance, relationships, ministry, endeavors and emotional stability in far greater measure than earthly military could provide may fierce intimidation and accusations dissolve under weight of unfailing love that casts out all torment grace triumph over judgments for all eden in the most high hallelujah i command spirits of worthlessness rejection depression anger deception suicidal thoughts sickness confusion and oppression to lose god's beloved now in jesus name receive healing streams 
pouring life and boldness into weary souls according to Ezekiel 47 verses 1 to 12. Break all agreements made with death and false shelter offered through substance abuse, ungodly soul ties, sexual sin or escapism. Receive new wine skins to contain the new wine Holy Spirit pours. Set up stones of remembrance, declaring your deliverance this day, never to be imprisoned by former mindsets again. Recon yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus' name. Arise and go free in the power and authority Christ purchased. I call forth vindication upon all adversaries who plot and scheme, believing their counsel hidden according to Micah 2 verse 1, Psalm 83 verse 3 and Isaiah 29 verse 15. Reveal the hearts of those cursing, conjuring deception or seeking to entrap your child. May their attacks and hatred turn to favor instead, according to Genesis 50 verse 20. I release those operating under mind control now from ungodly soul ties and generational strongholds in Jesus' name. Receive through healing, deliverance, and restoration. I break deception's veil with kindness, truth, Calvary's true freedom not yet understood in Jesus' powerful name. Though darkness confronts, lift up your gaze higher, beloved. God meets those who endure the crucible of refinement and wait expectantly upon him. He remains a sovereign, discerner of hearts and just judge over all intentions and motives in both earthly and heavenly realms. No accusation prospers before your Father and Redeemer as you abide patiently under his mighty hand, allowing access to grace, enabling you to stand in goodness and integrity. He will defend and vindicate you in perfect time. No one can stop his destined will for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. You are already victorious and more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. I decree divine intervention to descend and unlock victory against long-standing generational causes of cancer, sickness, incest, early death, addiction, barrenness, poverty, and lack in Jesus' name. I command DNA restored to wholeness through generational lines. Receive fresh fire flowing in your bloodline, awakening and restoring all crooked places from iniquity of forefathers. May your children, grandchildren and extended family receive breakthroughs extending for generations to come. Freedom's fire will be released now according to Galatians 5 verse 1. Inherit blessing prepared for you. I command all legal rights, footholds and access gained through sin or obedience that keep enemy accusation and attack empowered to now close forever be erased by the blood of jesus receive deep deliverance from defilement deception and corruption according to colossians 1 verse 13 i call forth mighty breakthrough and eternal reward upon your years of unnamed toil and suffering according to psalm 126 and galatians 6 verse 9 and hebrews 12 1 to 3 May generational oppression, lack, sickness, and fruitlessness now dissolve suddenly under an open heaven. Receive acceleration, restoration, and recompense, meeting you at every turn. Whereas you have been forgotten, forsaken, and devalued in your past seasons, now royalty and honor mark your every step through double portion inheritance and overcoming anointing activated this day. Your progress unlocks destinies for multitudes. Emmanuel, God is indeed with you, friend. No longer will you cower under threats of enemy or wince at words of past aggressors. Fear is demolished from your bloodline as lion at Corinth in Christ fuels your every step. With integrity, purpose, and passion arise to call forth life from death and freedom to captive ones still bound. Take your place as kingdom ambassador seated firmly in Christ's authority and worth. We worship and exalt you, Lord, for answering all these prayers in Jesus' name. Therefore, I declare the Lord's verdicts over you according to Psalm 31 that says, Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Today, divine health and wholeness permits into
into every cell of your body in the name of Jesus. I command your bones, tissues, organs, and systems to come into alignment with God's original design for you. Receive the Creator's touch over your frame. He formed you wonderfully and knows how to realign anything I miss. I call forth the revival of life to flow through you from head to toe right now. Where there was weakness, catastrophe, or deterioration, I declare newness of life by the Holy Spirit. He makes all things new, so I say, cells regenerate, inflammation subsides, nerves reconnect, and fibers mend under heaven's healing rays. Be made whole. I declare by faith that you are already healed by the stripes Jesus took upon his back according to 1 Peter 2 verse 24. That includes every emotional, spiritual, and physical wound you carry. Christ bore your sickness so you can bear his healing. I call for the manifestation into the nature of what he finished at the cross. Health and wholeness permit you now from crown to soul. I decree the words of Psalm 103 over your life. Who forgives all your iniquity? Who heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from the pit? Who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy? Every condition stemming from generational curses, personal sin and trauma is cleansed by the blood of Jesus. I declare your body healed and delivered. I command all infections and infirmities to leave your body now in Jesus' name. Receive supernatural antibiotics attacking every virus and harmful bacteria according to Luke 13 verse 12. Crippled hands are released restored vision and hearing. Every missing limb will be replaced as you continue to seek the Lord in faith. I call forth divine restoration of robbed health and lost years. What the enemy meant to destroy through affliction will become testament of God's goodness. The Lord balances every scale, tilting favor and blessing your way. As with Job, he will bless your latter days even more than your former. Receive abundantly above all that you can ask or imagine. I declare that through faith and patience, you will inherit every promise of God. Do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward. Persevere in prayer and stand on his word. Though healing takes time, his spirit brings comfort, hope, and strength for the journey. It will bring it to pass right on schedule. I decree divine connections leading you to people to bring breakthroughs, whether supernatural healing or practical help through medicine and physicians. Receive it. Let no pride or false doctrine block what God wants to do. His methods are infinite. His healing often gradual. Hold fast to his hand through the process. Wellness awaits. I command all genetic weaknesses that empower sickness to bow to the name of Jesus, reversed by his healing blood. Jesus bore our sicknesses and carried our pains so we can walk in divine health and wholeness. By his stripes you will be made whole. Spirit, soul, and body, I call forth inner healing and deliverance from trauma, abuse, loss, and grief that opened us to sickness. Holy Spirit, Take us back to access painful memories this child of God carries. Calm as the comforter, bringing perspective and cleansing. Exchange pain for joy, mourning for gladness. Beloved, see the Lord's goodness in your affliction. He promised to use all things to work together for our good as we submit to his working. What the enemy meant for harm, God turns to holiness as we yield trials to him. Our light afflictions now achieve eternal glory. This test will give tremendous testimony up ahead. Through this sickness and suffering, God develops perseverance, character, and hope in you. You will shine as an overcomer, displaying his victory and faithfulness. The trials of many will be comforted through your journey. His strength is shown perfect through human weakness and need. Ask him for grace to rejoice in this divine process. I declare that nothing separates you from the love of Christ, not even pain and infirmity. According to Romans 8 verses 35 to 39, if he ordains for this thorn to remain, take heart, his power rests upon you. His strength is made perfect in weakness. Ask him for sufficient grace to carry out the cross and sufficient faith to believe still for healing. He is worthy of praise in it all. 
I decree that those who sow in tears will reap with shouts of joy. Though healing tarries, take heart, dear one. God collects every tear, filling his bottle of remembrance. None fall fruitless to the ground. He will turn weeping into gladness, sickness to health. On that day, none will be able to curse, for he makes all things new. I command every negative word, curse, lie or accusation sent your way to dissolve under the power of God's word and the healing blood of Jesus. Let no word of death take root in your body. Cast down thoughts that exalt themselves above the knowledge of Christ. Stand on his finished walk at the cross with patience and confidence, knowing that it will bring it to pass. I call for a new habitation place for his spirit to dwell. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead comes to fortify your body as a temple of the living God. What was damaged or defiled is fully restored. Receive strength beyond your own to walk out this healing daily through his enabling grace. You are more than a conqueror through Christ. Beloved child of God, behold the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Set your gaze upon the one who heals. The spirit within brings life to your mortal body as a down payment of future glory. Allow his resurrection power to flow freely to every place needing restoration. You shall live and not die. Wellness is here. I declare that you are no longer under the curse of the law, but redeemed to receive Abraham's blessings. Christ has redeemed you from sickness, poverty, spiritual death, and the curse of sin that plagues this fallen world. Receive everlasting life and wholeness in the eternally secured inheritance of God's children. I decree deliverance from spirits of infirmity that empower sickness and disease according to Luke 13 verse 12. Receive freedom in mind and body now from all effects of trauma, substance abuse, and chronic conditions keeping you weighed down this many years. What Holy Spirit is reviving cannot be bound up again. I command all negative soul ties, feeding darkness to be severed now by the sword of the Spirit. Receive deep spiritual cleansing as the Holy Ghost fire burns through roots of iniquity passed down generationally. The sins, trauma, and twisted covenants of the fathers and mothers dissolve under the blood of Jesus. You are free. I call for spiritual biomarkers revealing the root causes of symptoms and conditions plaguing you. Holy Spirit, Unveil hidden sources feeding this affliction, whether trauma, generational causes, environmental toxins, or lifestyle choices keeping darkness empowered. Grant wisdom and strategies for walking in the grant wisdom. Grant wisdom and strategies for walking in divine health. I declare that death and sickness have lost their sting since Christ conquered sin and the grave. Though this body may waste away, you have an eternal house prepared by God, not built by human hands. His resurrection life lifts you beyond mortal constraints of deterioration, sickness, and aging. I decree that those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength as eagles. As you wait on Him for healing and breakthrough, equip yourself through studying the healing covenants and promises of God. Read testimonies of saints who persevered by faith and prayer to receive. Ask for fresh fire to stand through every hardship along the way. I command all lingering generational illnesses stemming from familiar spirits to be severed at the roots now by God's healing word. Causes of cancer, disorders, heart diseases, and early death be reversed and lifted by the blood of Jesus Christ. Step into generational blessings of longevity and divine health prepared for you. I call forth hunger in you for Christ, the true bread of life. As you feed deeply on his living word, revelation and intimacy grows with God. Receive fresh perspective, shifting focus from symptoms and limitations onto the healer himself. He sanctifies every struggle using trials to unveil more of his glorious nature. Rest in his abiding presence filling you now. Beloved, though flesh and heart fail, God remains the strength of your heart eternally. When faith or patience runs low, cry out to him for fresh oil to persevere. Worship the healer even from this pit. Allow his spirit to come forth and carry hope, restoring joy and vision bit by bit. He walks divinely through each season when you yield all to him. I declare that those who honor God, he will honor. Humble yourself under his 
his mighty hand and in due time he will exalt you with wholeness healing and a new life take on the heart of a servant leading to love compassion and kindness for others while standing for your healing this brings breakthrough upon breakthrough i decree that you will live and not die and declare the works of the lord as psalm 118 verse 17 declares even if he ordains more waiting know that god holds your life secure in his hands he remains intimately close as your soul's high tower let him hold your heart gently as you wait patiently on this perfect will. I command all delays, setbacks, and hindrances against healing to be removed now in Jesus' mighty name. Whether spirit of affliction, lack of resources, or revelation, I declare the way clear for divine turnaround. As you take steps forward, Lord, meet this child of God with demonstration of your power according to your word. Breakthrough is here now. I call forth lasting freedom from addiction and perversion, opening the door to recurring affliction. Receive merciful release from self-medication, ungodly relational bonds and practices defiling the temple of God's spirit. Trade shame and secrecy for healing as Christ's light permits hidden places of pain. Go and see no more, says the healer who makes all things new. I join you in praise to God, child of God. Rejoice, you are made completely whole. Receive strength in your bones and joy unspeakable shining through each day. Victory, health and favor surround you. Worship the Lord with all that is within you for he has delivered you from the pit and crowned you with loving kindness. Surely his goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life. You are healed forevermore. Amen. I declare you shall not die but have a long life and see the goodness of the Lord to the very end. I also pray Psalm 91 over you that you who live under the Most High and Almighty's shadow, God alone being your refuge and fortress, will be delivered from the perilous pestilence and deadly plague. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. No evil shall Shall conquer you no scourge shall overwhelm your tent you shall witness the reward of the wicked and see God's salvation with your very eyes beloved child I declare Isaiah 38 verse 5 over your life which says I have heard your prayer and seen your tears I will add 15 years to your life receive extension and increase over your days just as Ezekiah did when death came knocking prematurely, the Lord shall make the sun's shadow go back ten steps on the stairway of Ahaz. You shall yet praise him with stringed instruments all the days of your life in the temple of the Lord. I call forth Psalm 118 confessing. I shall not die but live and recount the works and wondrous words of God. Death has no claim over you, only life and peace in the spirit. The sting of death is sin, and Christ has conquered both grave and sin, sealing your eternity with his own blood. I declare the preserving power of the blood covenant, ensuring, ensuring no weapon from the gates you prospers, and no plague destroys your dwelling. Beloved child, like Job, I stand in the gap and view the head of protection around you, your household, and all that pertains to you. I forbid any devil, disaster, or disease from crossing that bloodline to touching your body or life before ordained time. I dispatch angels to guard you in all your ways, bearing you up lest you dash your feet against a stone. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit Spirit and camp as a wall of fire around you. I speak supernatural reversal and repel of any death sentence or premature end spoken over your life by intention or prophecy, whether by medical verdicts, word curse, spiritual divination, or legal judgments. Like when Mordecai uncovered Haman's sinister plot to annihilate the Jews, I expose the operations of darkness and cancel their contracts. No weapon formed against you shall succeed, and you will nullify every tongue that rises against you in condemnation or cause. For you are a child of the Most High God, brought for a great and glorious purpose. I declare that Jesus came to give you life more abundantly, a rich and satisfying life, pouring out blessings into eternity. 
The good shepherd attends to you through death's darkest valley shadow, his rod and staff driving away all fear and despair. His table of feasts awaits in enemy's presence, his oil of joy refreshing your face. Only goodness and unfailing love pursue you always into his house forevermore. Precious child like Lazarus, even if sickness leads to death, God shall yet have the final word and resurrection power to restore life and earth. Whether by miracle manifestation or through ultimate heavenly healing, deliverance shall belong to you. God shall wipe away every tear and transform ashes back to beauty again. Beloved one, I stand in agreement with the psalmist confession in 31 verse 15, my times are in your hand. Your days, weeks and years unfold under his sovereign design. Trust him to complete all he has started within you on this side of heaven. Then welcome you joyfully home when final breath draws near in appointed time. I speak Isaiah 65 verse 20 over your life that at 100 years you shall still bear fruit and prosper under lengthy days. Set your gaze beyond temporal troubles to the unseen eternal weight of glory prepared for you. Allow this magic magnificent hope to renew strength and anchor soul through storms. Nothing passes his sight. Love ever remains working all things for good for those who answer his upward call. I release resurrection life and power over areas of affliction and disease in the mighty name of Jesus. By his stripes you are healed. I forbid this sickness leading to any further foothold of infirmity or untimely death. I declare the preserving work of the great physician who heals all diseases upon you now. In Jesus' name, rise up healed, whole and restored. I paralyze the activity of any deceiving spirit impersonating diseased loved ones, appearing to draw your soul out of alignment with truth or lure you into occultic practices outside God's will. I break these deceptions of your life in Jesus' name. May your feet remain steadfast on the rock as you stay rooted in scripture and covenant with Christ alone as intermediary between heaven and those on earth awaiting his return. Beloved child of destiny, I declare the shield and armor of Psalm 5 verse 12 over your life. Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as a shield. Set your gaze ahead on the joy set before you to finish your cause and ministry whole and strong. Allow no people, disease, disaster, or spirit of death rob remaining years of experiencing his goodness. Stay vigilant against bitterness as God writes brightest endings born of deep trust and surrender. Yours is the kingdom in all its fullness. Walk boldly into broad places, prepared to drink deeply. Beloved child of promise, I call forth divine turnarounds over medical diagnosis declaring shortened life expectancy or disease progression leading to premature death. Receive grace, mercy, and wisdom for navigating uncharted waters ahead. May faith arise to walk on stormy seas through pain's mystery. Fix eyes on the healer's face. Nothing fails outside his redemptive plans. Where hopeless prognosis looms, God specializes in supernatural intervention, redirecting impossible outcomes. Jesus endured death, marching toward resurrection certainty. So shall you cross into greater glory through momentary light afflictions, preparing an incorruptible crown reserved for those discovering single eye vision witnessed from above. Shake loose all that entangles feet from rolling tirelessly as one raised with Christ. Detach completely from outcomes here. Reattach heart posture unto full obedience. Receive fresh download of kingdom perspectives. I seal this prayer over you in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, the resurrection and the life by the power of his blood that has ransomed your life from destruction. I forbid any weapon formed against you to prosper now and all your days ahead. Search forward mightily into all your good father has prepared for you. The enemy will not prevail. You will finish your race strong in the center of God's glorious unfolding story. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen.